Uh, right, so we're going to do um, a full English breakfast. Everybody knows how to make a full English breakfast. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun to show you how I do mine. Um, all in one pan, all under the grill, apart from the eggs, obviously. What I've got is some nice pork and leek sausages, maple cured bacon, some nice black pudding, filled mushrooms, tomatoes, beans, eggs, and I've got a big old loaf on the back there to get chopped into. Um, so first thing I want to do, you want to put into the pan what's going to take the longest to cook, which will be the sausages. So we'll put the sausages in the pan, and we'll get them browned off, and then we'll get that under the grill, and we can start adding other bits. Now, with your mushrooms, you can do them however you want. Uh, I like to I like to peel them, so an easy way to peel them is hold them, your thumb and your finger, and then just pull the skin off. Really easy like that, and then I pop the toads tool out as well because I don't think it adds any value. Where are my peat tongs? Where are my actual tongs? Sorry. Yeah, so get those sort of browned off, and then I'm going to pop those under a under a grill. Uh, and then we can start to prep all these other, well, get to prepping all these other things. So I've got my mushrooms, tomatoes. I prefer tin tomatoes on a breakfast uh, because I'm a northerner. I don't know whether that's a thing. Is that a thing down south, Matt? Do you eat tin tomatoes on breakfast? No, just fresh tomatoes. I think it's disgusting, fresh tomatoes, but for the sake of this. Uh, so, a little tip to get the woody bit out. If you put a little knife in the top of it and just give it a little twist, you get that grossness off and then just split it in the middle. A little touch of salt, and those go in. So, the idea of cooking these in the same pan is it's going to render everything down in that sausage fat when it starts to leak. So that's in there. Mushrooms are in there as well. And a bit of pepper on there, and a little bit of oil. And then that goes back under the grill. Heinz baked beans. Ah, That would have been good for the blooper drill, wouldn't it? Just cut myself on a tin. Got this little prowler up there waiting for breakfast. Uh, blue roll. There. Ovs. We'll give them a good few minutes to cook. Uh, and then we'll add our bacon and black pudding. You don't have to use black pudding. Like I said, this, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the English, it's the full English breakfast. You can put whatever you want on it. Um, I like black pudding. I never used to like it. I know. Do you like black pudding? No. No. Do you like black pudding, Matt? No. Why? Is it because of what it is? So. Keep an eye on your stuff. Give them a turn. I'll drop that black pudding in there as well. And then we'll just hang fire for 10 minutes, just wait. Uh, and then we'll come back to it, add the bacon. And you want big, chunky toast, you know, if you're going to do it under the grill. Um, and, and I like white bread on a breakfast. I don't, think there's, I don't think there's any place for wholemeal or brown bread. And you want it, like, chunky. Well, there's a lot of moisture that's come out of there, so I'm going to get rid of some of that with a spoon. And then I'm going to sit the bacon in there and we're going to put it back under the grill for a bit, get toast in. You only said it's a one pound breakfast, you're using two pans. Have you ever made a breakfast that have got beans in there? Yeah. What, in the same pan? Have you? And then that goes back under the grill. Another five or six minutes, get the toast on, good to go. Do you ever play the uh, eject catchy game? No, because I go straight up metal knife in. I missed out on uni, the University of Life. I had to use a lighter to torch my bread. Oh, oh, oh yes. Barry and Paul. Barry and Paul. Timmy. To you. <laughs> so the egg, I bring the oil, I put the egg into cold oil and bring it up. Um, I think I've mentioned this in a couple of my other videos, but it looks better. Ketchup with beans. Oh. Right, one, that. Oh, I'm sorry, let's, just, let's see what David's got to say first. There are videos, so we'll include David in them. Okay, so baste your egg, take it off the heat, right, and then we can get going. So. Get salt, ovs. Put salt on everything, yeah, pepper, definitely. And there's not a lot of excess fat on that. It's not like dribbling with fat or anything like that, so it's kind of a healthy fried breakfast, if that makes sense. There you go, full English breakfast, that's how I do it. I'm not going to put a recipe on the website because it's full English breakfast.